This is uh, Lee Rosenthal here for Inside World Pickleball in beautiful Tampa, Florida at the PPA tournament. And I'm here with Brian Believe Levine, who just won the men's 4.5 gold medal here at the tournament. And the, congratulations, Brian. And my first question for you is, tell me about this name, Believe. Yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of funny how it worked out. When I signed up for USA Pickleball last year, on the website it says first name, last name, and nickname. And I thought, you know, some people call me Believe, so I put it down. Little did I know that it was going to replace my first name when they do it over the loudspeakers. Yeah. But it's very pickleball. It's pretty funny. Yesterday I was listening to uh, Sir Pochalot was winning a lot in, in a lot of medals games. I think it's one of the unique things that's specific to pickleball that's fun. Yeah, I love it. And obviously you believed in yourself and you did a great job. You came away with the gold medal. And you told me you've only been playing pickleball the past year or so as a result of COVID. Yeah, really, was it just a function of COVID? I mean, it was one of those things where, you know, I think everyone had the same issue, you know, come March and you were locked up for a while. And I was down in South Florida and a few friends brought it up. And, you know, we just cobbled together a court outside the library and we would go out there and we played with masks and gloves and, and you know, we were, everyone used their own ball back then. But it was a great escape from, you know, all the containment that we had. It was an athletic, you know, it, it, was, it was fantastic to do athletically. And it was great socially too. You know, we've had a lot of, a lot of social isolation and pickleball is an incredibly social sport, as I'm sure you've seen. So it's just been a great outlet for all of us to have, and it's really just gone from there. Within our community, we've got a group of, of guys and some girls too, and we go out probably every other day, and we, we, you know, we play. It's a, just a great way to start the day at 7.30 every morning, and it's a great social thing too. You know, we bust each other's chops, and we get a good workout in, and we're ready to start the day. And, and there are other groups too. You know, you've got your doubles groups, and you've got your singles groups, your mixed doubles groups. Um, you know, folks that, you know, you're out there to compete and win, and, and most of which you're out there to have fun and, and maybe have a drink or two while you're playing. Well, you're out here winning, and I know you're watching the pros. What are you learning from them? I mean, it's wild. I mean, you know, it's, uh, you know, seeing them play, it's, it's unbelievable to be on the same court with some of these folks. I mean, you, there are little things that you pick up on, you know, in terms of how they play the depth of the balls. You know, sometimes they, you know, they'll hit it short and, you know, they're, they're ham and egging it left and right. And it doesn't seem like they're, they're blowing it by you, but they're always putting it in the right spot. They're safe shots and, you know, twist you up in a pretzel. Um, and there are folks, you know, they focus on certain weaknesses, like they'll identify, you know, what you're doing well and what you're not doing well pretty quickly. And, um, you know, and the athleticism of, of, of all of them is, is really a remarkable, remarkable thing to watch. You know, the intent, you know, the serves have picked up dramatically. You know, there's a lot to learn there as far as, you know, what you could do. I think traditionally it was a very conservative serve. Um, and particularly in singles, you really have to be far more aggressive. And if you can, you can keep your opponent from getting to the net. You know, so, you know, you've seen Zane Navratil, you know, do that. You know, it's, it's very difficult to get to the net. And if they get to the net, then they may have a bad angle. And it really sets up that third shot for the server. So, you know, you learn a lot of this watching that. And you see it over and over again. And, you know, there's a lot of strategy to it, I think, more than most people assume. Do you see this game growing in the future? Oh, absolutely. I mean, you see it. I mean, if you look at the stories happening, popping up all around the country and really around the world, um, you know, there's a tremendous demand for pickleball that goes, you know, far, far beyond the amount of courts. You know, it, it's exploding what they have to supply to keep up with the demand that we're seeing. Um, because everyone can do it all ages. I mean, you could do it, it it's, I think it's healthier on your body, and I've certainly felt that too. I used to play a little bit of tennis, and I had shoulder surgery a little over a year ago, and I haven't felt any pain, you know, in pickleball. In tennis, you know, you'd feel a twinge, you know, when you, you know, get into a few games of tennis, and I haven't picked up a tennis rack in a year. Hi, this is Steve Kennedy with the tip of the week. Today we're going to talk about the four times on the court that you need to be working on your reset. And I don't know if that's new terminology to you, but the reset is basically when you're stretched out either far to left, which would be my backhand, far to my right, which would be my forehand. And if my partner Jeff was here, his reset would be far out to his right side, which would be his backhand, and far out to his left side, which would be his forehand. When we use the reset, we are in a little bit of trouble. And the reset enables us to hit the ball straight back across, come back out of being stretched, and stay where we are. Because we had talked in another segment about keeping the chain connected. Now, if I come in here and I hit my reset and I go straight across, I know I can count on my partner to be middle. When my partner Jeff gets stretched out super wide to his right side, I know I can count on him to reset straight across, which brings me middle, right? If Jeff for some reason goes out wide here and he flips it across to his left side, look what's happening, guys. I'm leaving my backhand side open. And it's what I call being a good partner. 
A good partner does what I expect. So when Jeff gets stretched, he resets and I can come middle. When I get stretched, my partner can count on me resetting and now covering the middle for me. And remember, this is for when you're stretched out really big. So let me point out the four places on the court where we can hit a reset. One's gonna be stretched here, out to this side. The other side is stretched out here. And Jeff, if you could show them out there, the other one's gonna be a far stretch for Jeff and coming back middle would be a far stretch for him here. Okay, let's demonstrate what we're talking about and let's see how it works. When I'm stretched and I reset, look at my position. I come back up and now look where my partner is. Okay, he's able to go ahead and hit that ball. We'll do that again. So as I'm stretched out wide, yeah. As I'm stretched out wide and I'm struggling, I reset, I come back up, the ball comes back middle, and now Jeff's there to make that shot. When I get stretched into my middle, I go reset to the middle, and now Jeff gets to stay neutral. When Jeff gets pulled out wide and I see him in trouble, he goes here, and look where I am, guys. I'm here and I can do my thing and now I can take it here. Let's show you where the two resets are gonna be on Jeff's side here. So as Jeff gets set, he resets and I come right in here so I can cover all this court here. So when I'm here, look at the ability of Jeff and myself. So Jeff, let's touch paddles here. We've got the middle covered and when I go out here properly, I've got most of this angle covered now, right? If we talk about getting paddle position and paddle out, if I intercept the ball here, there's gonna be a lot more angle. So when we get into the here and Jeff is reset, I wanna make sure that I have the ability to reach out so the angle is not nearly what it could be. So again, the four places that we're resetting are stretched middle, stretched out for me, for Jeff, stretched out, and then stretched out again. Remember, be a good partner, do what's expected of you, and you'll do just great on the pickleball court. That's this week's edition of Coulter Homes Inside World Pickleball. I'm Carl Foster. And I'm Melissa McCurley. Thanks again from Delray Beach, Florida, and Carpe Dinkum. Enjoy your pickleball wherever you may play. Yeah.